Action Center. One of the things I absolutely hate about Windows 10, however, I've uh, made a lot of deep load scripts removing Action Center, and now I've noticed from the comment section, people want Action Center back, and I think I was quoted saying, I hope it dies in a fire. But then I got this comment. Thank you so much for the constructive feedback. That is an actual practical application of Action Center, and you made me see the light, and it made me want to help you out and create a script. One command you could run, pop up a little GUI, and then just click the button to restore it. No other shenanigans, no other anything. And I also made it on GitHub. Let me get on the desktop and show you exactly what this is because it's a new format that I really wanted to show everyone and I think it's going to help a lot of people, including you, if you need any of these. And it's not just Action Center. I'm going to show Cortana and tray icons and some other things my script might have changed. And if I'm missing anything, let me know in the comments. With that, let's get on the desktop. All right, here on the desktop on my website, christitis.com, you'll see dbloat-windows-10-2020, and I added a new section, user requested restore scripts right here. Just copy this, go to the bottom left, right click, go Windows PowerShell with admin. This will launch right in, right click to paste it. All my new ones, and I'm gonna redo my debloat script to be in this format, and also expand on this for anything that you might want. Again, let me know in the comments. But let's restore Action Center as you see. There is no Action Center in the bottom right here, which is a problem. And I also like hide tray icons. Well, this would actually go ahead and fix that. This would enable Cortana, and it'll show up here. And this will enable Action Center. If I move this prompt, you'll see what's happening in the background. And this is an open source project, so you can go on GitHub and see this exact one. I'll put a link in the description. And now that we've installed and done all of this and clicked each one of these buttons, we've reverted all these back to stock settings as it was when you installed or booted up your computer for the first time, just for Action Center, Cortana, and icons, or tray icons, which are these down here. Let's reboot the computer and see what we have. And here we are, we are back on our desktop. As you see in the bottom right-hand corner, Action Center is back. Everything got restored, and on the left-hand corner over here, you can say, hey, Cortana is also back. We can talk to her and do all that things that other people do that I hate. And if you want to get rid of these again, just rerun my debloat script. I'll put a link in the top portion here. That way you can rerun it, and it'll take off all of this again. And going forward, I will be changing that script with all these new implementations as well. We'll put that menu right on the actual debloat script. So that one command, that prior video that actually changed and removed these, I'm going to put toggle options on it and make a GUI much like I did with this restore action script. And look for that probably later towards this month as I have another project that I'm doing right after this one. But I wanted to go ahead and get this out. Let me know your thoughts. Again, down in the description, I know this is kind of short, but I want to make it short, sweet, how to restore these things. And if I missed anything, let me know and I'll update the project in real time. So if you run this and you see more options, well, just know that's YouTube comments hard at work. And I just want to say thank you all for all the feedback because I'm not, a, I'm not a GUI guy. I like to stick on the CLI, stand on the command line, and then just doing everything from PowerShell or Terminal in Linux. I don't like a lot of those graphics, and I really need your help to say, hey, this is what a normal person would probably want, <laughs> because I'm terrible at that. But with all that said, I'll see you in the next one.